<laughs> what is up, YouTube, and welcome back to... Oh, no, wait, I didn't do that right. <coughs> what is up, YouTube? <laughs> Can clearly tell which YouTube channel I watch. Um, I've got quite an interesting video for today. So, I've always wanted a diffusion filter or a mist filter from Moment. Um, but I kind of want to be able to have that, like, dreamy, misty kind of look and feel to my footage already. And there's a way to do that. And so with one of these... Um, if you're like Chad, what are you gonna do with toilet spray? It isn't toilet spray. Uh, it is Flex Extra Strength Hairspray that I stole from my stepmother. So Charlotte, if you watch this, I do apologize and thank you for the hairspray. And then just an old, um, I can't think of what it's called now, like air freshener spray bottle that just sprays like a nice load of mist. And then a UV filter. Do be warned, and just so you know, it is a mission to clean. It does come off, um, but in your case, if it doesn't come off, don't blame me. Try this at your own risk. So going to do the back side, so the side that would screw onto the lens, um, as I feel if you do the front, it's prone to smudge more and all of that, so I'll be doing the back of the filter and I suggest you do two. So what I believe you do is spray and catch. I've actually got it on now. This is what it looks like on. So it just adds like a nice dream effect. suggestions an opinion when it comes to this I suppose thoughts and opinions are kind of the same thing well number one I'm gonna have to say I'm not very close to the camera and I've currently got my phone up so that I can check the autofocus so if you see me looking up and down that's that's one of the issues if you're using autofocus camera struggle I mean I've got a Canon M50 with Canon Superb Dual, dual pixel autofocus and this struggles to focus um, so autofocus is usable but you're probably going to be have to manually focusing so be prepared for that um, but you can get away with dual pixel autofocus and if you have a fairly decent camera with good autofocus you should be alright number two is a suggestion is film one stop overexposed. Um, I find f just filming and taking photos one stop overexposed, whether I'm shooting in cine still or whether I'm shooting in portrait, which is the standard uh, the picture profile that I shoot with when I shoot on my Canon. I just find shooting one stop overexposed just sells the effect a little bit better. Um, it just makes, I don't know, it's weird to explain. So everything's overexposed. And there's just this haze to the highlights, um, but there's a permanent haze to the highlight. So if your shot's underexposed, it kind of doesn't add up. So shooting one stop overexposed just makes sense and just sells the effect a little bit better. One of my thoughts and opinion on this, um, cost is cheap. A UV filter costs, what, 120 rand. So that's not too bad. And if you have a mom, or a stepmom, or a sister, or some female in the family, or if you're a guy and you're growing up long hair like me, well, you got a hairspray lying around for sure. That's cheaper than a moment diffusion filter, or a Prism FX diffusion filter, or whatever you want to label it, it is cheaper. Uh, is it better than a Promist filter that you can buy? I don't know. I'm still gonna buy a Promos filter when I have the opportunity to, but if you need something in a pinch of time, this is definitely a viable option. And this is something I'll be using on my personal projects when I do portrait shoots or video shoots with females. Um, even just something fresh rather than a clinical video that you see these days. Um, would I do this for clients? If they ask, yes, but in my own capacity, 
I probably wouldn't because I could see how our client wouldn't be happy with us. Hope you guys have a lack of time and I'll see you in the next video. And if it's anything like the way the videos are going currently, it's going to be in about three months time.